So, according to the Bible, and especially the religious fundies, a few thousand years ago, there were giants. And all around the internet, the fundies are sharing uh, pictures of giant skeletons, which were really just uh, Photoshop for a Photoshop competition. But they're sharing it. They think it's real because, you know, they can't think. And they just say, hey, look, I agree with that. And they just share it. They, you know, whatever. They can't, they can't think for themselves. And so... I just want to say something. According to the square cubed law, which basically states more or less that once something doubles in size, its surface area increases by 4, and its volume, mass, weight increases by 8. Which means that if you were to double the size of something to scale with its original, and the density density stayed the same, it would have about mm, half the strength. So a 6 foot tall... 200 pound man would be about 12 foot tall and weigh 1600 pounds and he would have about four times the uh, strength originally but when you take it into account the weight that would make it the equivalent of a human being with about half the strength originally or about a person with a six foot tall person that weighs about 400 pounds basically and I think technically they could walk around but it would be difficult for them. And that's just 12 feet tall. If you ever talk to these Christian fundies, they basically say these these people are like uh, fucking 50 foot tall. And that would be absolutely impossible. They would collapse under their own weight from that. This is just simple child's play mathematics that you can learn from a simple Google search. I don't remember if they taught it in school or not, but you can learn it from a simple Google search in like five minutes. Right? And so, this is what I have to ask. Now, some some people, some... Uh, more moderate Christians, they they interpret this to mean things such as giants as in giant leaders, you know, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, these were giant leaders, giant uh, rulers, if you will. And I can understand that, but you got to remember, these religious fundies, they don't like to reinterpret things, and it gets really aggravating. So maybe, if they were really giants, as in giant, literal giant people, could it be that because the average human height back in the day was much shorter than what it was now, uh, in some cases it was about my height, 5'6", mm, but it, the Jews were much shorter than that a little bit, but because the average human height was much shorter back in the day, could it be that it, since the average, if, if somebody grew up to about 6 foot tall, maybe 7 foot even, that they could be considered giants? Abraham Lincoln was about 6 foot tall, and he was tall even for his... His day, six. Uh, I think the average height now is five nine, five ten, or something. Um, in in the West. And so, if Abraham Lincoln went back about two thousand years ago, may, maybe he would be considered a giant. And this is something that uh, religious people never take into account. They they literally think that giants that are fifty foot could exist. I mean, could you imagine even even a, a human being about eighteen foot tall? I don't think could actually exist. They'd have about one-third of their original strength compared with the their weight. It'd be like a, a six-foot-tall person trying to w walk around with 600 pounds, and those people can't do that for very long. And not to mention, I don't know if their, even their necks would be able to support such a structure. Uh, you know, the height, the, the weight of their head, might it might snap their neck. Maybe. I'm not an expert in that, so don't quote me on it, but for fuck's sake, these Christians, they're not very smart. And this is, right, I, and, yeah, I was raised to believe the literal interpretation of the giants, the, 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 the Goliath, the, the huge 30, 40, 50 foot tall people. It fucking couldn't exist. In order for a human to get that tall, their legs would have to be, legs and feet would have to be shaped like a fucking elephant, for one thing. Their spine, their torso, everything about them would have to be changed so, to the point where it wouldn't even look like a human being. Right? And many of these giant myths might have come from simply finding fossils of dinosaurs or other large mammals, perhaps like the mammoth. And they might have refashioned them to look like a human skeleton. Right? If you look at the mammoth, that big old nasal cavity in the front looks like an eye socket for a cyclops. And, well, that's probably where you get the cyclops mythology from right there. The Triceratops is a griffin. You take the horns and its big shield thing, you refashion them, you can make wings out of them. There, there you have the griffin. 
But no, these Christians are just going to believe that it's a fucking... All the mythology shit like giants, cockatrice, it's all true. And you're never going to reach them with logic. Like, I mean, I'm not going to claim I'm a genius like like some of these other uh, actual scientists. people. I'm, I'm a fucking layman, okay? But this is very, like, amateurish mathematics that you can learn in five minutes. And you can easily debunk the literalist interpretation of the Bible that these fundies have. Peace.